Today's video is sponsored by Vendu. Kimmy, we are Hi. here at the Boston Goodwill Outlet. It has been closed since COVID three, four years. Yes. Unbelievable. Kim went once and you said that they had like mostly... Um, mostly tags from the stores. Okay. We're in there. So yep. we're hoping. We're hoping today's good. I don't know if I can film in there. The bins are really deep. I'm going to kind of try to be a little bit low key and feel the place out before... You know, I film anything and we're just going to see where the day takes us. We got lots of time. We're very excited. We have a lot of time. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. Okay. I remember the first time I came here, I could not find the entrance because right? it's over here on the left. Yeah. Okay, we're here. We have these like really large bins here. Um, but the second I walked in, the very first thing that I found was a pair of shoes. So far, we have some Urban uh, Million. There are some rules. This is a really cute uh, free people piece. They're priced by the item here, not by the pound. All right, we found some nice stuff for the Whatnot show. Some new with tag stuff. I really like this old navy sweater. It's a 2X. It's a great little cardigan. I found these new with tag vineyard vines for boys. And Kim found these fry booths. Kim is the woman when it comes to shoes. She does not play. Right, Kim? I would just, again, <laughs> I, was, I was in there with the guys. The guy's like, this is aggressive. I'm like, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Kim's like, I'm aggressive. She threw over a bunch of shoes. One pair was John Fluvog. This is so exciting and it's so cute. I love the, um, the heel on these. I haven't found Fluvog in so long. I'm so excited. Okay, here is my bin that I need to go through. This is how they price stuff here. So it's not by the pound, it's actually by the item. But they have these nice signs. So I mean, clothing 175, shoes 350, coats three bucks, t shirts are a dollar. What did I grab this last round? I kind of liked this Zara jacket, but I feel like a lot of my denim just sits. Comes over there with the bin of people going for um, shoes. I like this Club Monaco, but it's too pilly. I'm putting so much back. These Adriana Goldschmidt, Marley Cutoff. These are kind of cute. I thought these were nice. Got to check everywhere. Like those. What's this? Pro Mod. Oh, this is, ooh, I like this pin. I did find an Hermes scarf that I'm freaking out about. I hope it's real. And the Fluvogs, those are the those are the big winners for today. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw these back. These are Spanx, but they have a little hole in them here. Yeah, these have seen better days, these Spanx, but oh, it kills me. I see how a lot of the shimmer has worn off too. These were well loved. I think I'm tossing those back. I've never heard of this brand, Michael Shannon. Not good. I'm gonna sell these Halaras. They're extra large. This is not an expensive brand, but they have a nice following. All right, I have to sort things out here. These cute little Sorel boots for kids. Kim just grabbed out of that bin over there. And we found lots of Ugg boots today too. Um, tons of Uggs. I think if I price them right, they'll do well. And I'm like in the bottom of the bin. Coming up. She's in for nut. air. I'm going. Back. Oh my gosh, she's going. There's back one I haven't got. Okay, gone. go. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Okay, I'm gonna take these home and see if we can resole them or sell them as is because they are Prada, but definitely worth $3 if we think they're real. Do we think they're real? I think they are. Those will come home. I love these Madewell that Kim found. Kind of stopped picking up Birkenstocks with foot marks. The leather's in really good shape here. Oh, I don't know. Everything seems like work to me. Okay, I'm gonna keep hunting. Where are you? And what do we think? This is it. This is the only thing on here. But it feels like raw silk. It's in really nice shape from what I saw. I don't know. This could be big. Who knows? So pretty. Look at this. Sample. Oh, fun. Right? It's really pretty. Battle, Battle scars. <laughs> All right, we got a bag of shoes, two bags of clothes and a partridge in a pear tree. We did great. I actually think it was cheaper here. That's my thinking. 
Is it? Well, I mean, I'm going to weigh this bag of shoes when I get yeah, home. And because the clothes. First, I'm gonna start with what could potentially be the find of the day. Then I'm gonna go through all of my amazing shoes from Kim. I already did some extensive research on the shoes. Then I have my bags, which are untouched since I got home. So I haven't run comps on the clothes. I'll put some stuff up on the screen if there's anything exciting to share. Um, but before I get started, on this particular day, we went to four Goodwills and the Goodwill outlet. So in today's video, you saw just our time at the Goodwill bins. In a future video, you will see the rest of our day. In total at the outlet, I got 37 items. I paid $76.73. My average cost of goods was $2.07. I thought it was interesting that they charge by the item. They don't charge by the pound. So your basic clothing, jeans, sweaters, hoodies, pants, blouses, $1.75. T-shirts are a dollar. Accessories like hats and ties and scarves, $1. Shoes are $3.50. Coats are $3. I think that's how it goes. I was curious if the shoes would have cost me more money in New Hampshire where I pay $2 a pound. So I just weighed the bag of shoes. So what's really funny is I got nine pairs of shoes in Boston. They were $3.50 each, which equals $31.50. If I was in New Hampshire, it would have been $32.80. So actually very similar in price, which is interesting. Not bad for what I got. So let's start with my Hermes scarf. It looks like raw silk, ombre, gray, very full scarf. Now it does have a couple flaws, a couple pulls. I wouldn't say like staining, but you can see some of the pulls in the fabric. It is fringe on the end. It was one of the very first things that I found. There was no way I wasn't going to take it home and at least explore. I say this a lot. I have picked up my share of knockoffs when I wasn't positive, or even if I was sure, when I wanted to just come home and research. And that's what I did with this. So it forced me to look into things. Here is the tag. And by all means, if you are an expert on Hermes scarves, do tell. The first thing I did was look up tags through the years. That is something that I always do when I'm trying to authenticate so I can see what a particular tag looks like. And if it, at the very least, matches one of the tags from a particular brand. I found this picture, this image on Pinterest. And this particular one looks like the tag from the 1990s. Very, very simple. So that was kind of a pro, although the little accent mark looked a little bit different on this one than it did on the image. Anyway, one of the things that makes me think this is not real is that on the Hermes site, they said one of the main things to look for is the hand rolled edging or the hem. There's no rolling on any part of this scarf whatsoever. In fact, there's no pattern on this scarf except for an ombre like a silvery gray ombre. You can kind of see some of the variation. I don't know, it's really dark outside now, so I'm using all artificial light. So it's kind of hard to see. Another thing is fabric content. There is no fabric content on this particular scarf, but on the tag that I saw, um, it also didn't have fabric content. And it is also possible that somebody who owned this scarf scarf, even if it were real, they could have removed the fabric tag. Also, it said that most of the Hermes scarves are artist signed. Because there is no artwork on here, that's atypical for these scarves, I believe, in the first place. I do not own an Hermes scarf. I have never researched it. This is my first stab at it. There's no artist signature. There's no pattern. I don't know. The one thing that I will say is it feels like silk and it's absolutely beautiful. The fringe is nice. It did say that there should be more like of a matte finish that it's not like super shiny because real silk um, has like some texture to it. One side feels very high in texture. This side does feel pretty shiny. Maybe it's polyester. I really don't know. This would definitely be something worth authenticating. I just don't think I'm gonna have it authenticated before this video goes live, but I did want to share that because you can always get your items authenticated. Um, I use a company called Real Authentication. You send them, I believe, up to six photos. 
Certain brands cost more money to authenticate than others, and I do believe that the regular, like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, I think it's $25 or $30 to have it authenticated, and I believe that Hermes is $40. So I will have to put $40 into this to get it authenticated, which in my situation I think is worth it. I think it would be good for me to make that investment moving forward for my career. Anyways, if that's real, oh my gosh, because it's beautiful, um, it's likely not real, but again, you just don't know. For a dollar, which is what I paid for a scarf, it was definitely worth taking home and looking into it. I don't wanna to spend too much time on that because I don't know if it's real, so let's move on and see some of the fantastic shoes that Kim found for me. So I did take notes on all of these. I found style names for everything. I looked up comps for everything. Why don't we start with these Uggs? These are some really nice, they were a ton of Ugg boots. We put so many boots back. We put back some fry boots. I put back a bunch of Ugg boots. Um, I was very selective. The bins are really great for shoes because you can get such a great return on investment for shoes, but I haven't been to my bins as frequently as I used to, and in decluttering, I haven't been buying as many shoes. So this is the most shoes I've bought in a while. So these are Ugg boots. They have a little wedge, and they also have wool right here. They are in beautiful condition. Look at the base of these, they're lovely. They're the Emily in sole inside is Sherling. They are a size seven. Comps I saw were between 27 and $45. Um, I will probably list these at like 55 or $59 and see how they do. They're in really excellent condition. So I think um, that counts for something. There is a little bit of creasing, but you can see the toe cap is in really good shape. Fantastic. Next up are these Ugg boots. These are really nice and these had some really great comps. These look like brand new. I hate to say brand new, maybe not brand new, but very, very excellent condition. These are called the Ugg, the Ugg Thompson boot in a size eight. The comps on these in this particular colorway with the brown and the little maroon here were between 50 and $80. Um, these are in really excellent condition. They're all shirling on the inside. They are clean. They have a little zip on the inside, but look at the condition of these boots. $3.50 per pair of shoes or boots. So those are fantastic. Next up is a pair of shoes that I don't know. These are Prada. They are authentic Prada from everything that I can see, but the sole is broken. There is the tag, the Prada made in Italy on the bottom. Um, so you can see right here where the sole is just broken. But again, I could resole these maybe for 20 to $30. They have a style number on the inside. They look to be pretty narrow. They're a size 35 and a half, made in Italy. What's interesting is you can see on the bottom that it looks like Goodwill was charging $100 for these. See how it says R100? Looks like these were listed for $100, they didn't sell, and then they made their way to the bins. The rest of the shoe is in pretty good condition. Patent leather can get funky after a while. There are a couple spots that look like some of the shine is gone, but I haven't, these are untouched, so I'm sure I could clean these up. The color is really beautiful. If I had these resold, you know, who knows what we could make. Would you resole them? or sell them as is, or put them on whatnot. We'll see what you guys think, but the soles definitely need help, um, but it's still authentic Prada. I have not been to the Boston bins since they closed during COVID, so we're going on four years since the bins have been closed, and this is my first visit back, and I truly love the Boston bins. They are much more work because you're digging. It's a smaller, environment, it's a smaller space. The hours are more limited. I believe they're open from like nine to two or nine to three. So you don't have as long of a window to shop as you do in New Hampshire. But fashion wise, there are so many great things that come through Boston. I find my best stuff when I'm thrifting closer to Boston or in Boston and the same goes for the bins. They get some really great things there. Um, it's just not always very easy to get there for me. That's why I don't go very frequently, but then you come home with Prada and some of the other great things that you'll see. These were the first things that I found when I went in. They had recently put out a shoe bin, but I was really just trying to get the lay of the land. And like I said in the video, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to video in there. When I thrift, sometimes I just wanna thrift and not worry about always filming when I'm there. So I was trying to get into my zone, but I found these coach loafers which are also 
in fantastic condition. I always look at the toe and then I look at the back on these. These are driving loafers. They're in really great condition. So these are the Coach Nadia loafer. This is a metallic. The comps on these were between $30 and $60. These are a size 10. They're in really excellent condition. I think I'll list them around $68. It's less of a common size. The condition is beautiful. So I think if I list it at that price point, I think I'll be closer to that $50 um, sale on these. So just beautiful. I have these Franco Sardos, which are also in a size 10. These are just a style loafer, the animal print, the calf hair uh, that I just like to pick up. I think shoes like this just elevate an outfit, jeans and a black sweater, and then you put these on and you kind of feel really well put together. Again, I look at the toe on these. We found another pair in the retail location. They were much more worn, but if you look at the toe, pretty great condition. The bottoms are great. So these are the Franco Sardo Studio loafers in a size 10. Comps were between 20 and 30. I'll probably list these at $38. It was so worth it to actually go through and get the style names just to share with you and for my own information to get like actual comps and stuff and then I created a bunch of drafts in Vendu. So actually let's talk about Vendu because they are today's sponsor. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Vendu, it is a cross-listing service that allows you to cross your items to multiple marketplaces. They are having a great deal. Typically it's 25% off when I do my mention but they are doing 40% off. So if you want to save 40% off, click the link in my description and use the code MORE24AM. You'll receive 40% off your first month of service with Vendu. When I'm running comps, like as I was looking for all of these shoe comps, as I found the style of the shoe, I would take a screenshot if there was a stock photo that I wanted to reference or use. Use stock photos at your own risk. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. I could get the stock photo so that when we go to list the item and photograph it, we can identify which boot or shoe that I'm actually listing. I uploaded that into the photos on Vendu. Lumpy sees something outside. I think he sees his reflection because it's dark out. It's okay. Do you see the birdies? Once I get the stock photo, I can then copy and paste the description for the said boots, which in this case, I found every one of the styles of these boots. Usually you identify the style number on the inside of the boot and I created a draft. I could also look at the sold comps like I'm sharing with you and decide what I want to price it at right away. And I also know that my cost of goods was $3.50. They have an area where you can write some private information that only you see, your buyer doesn't in the listing. So I feel like when you're processing your orders, Vendu allows you to record all of this information that just really saves you time. I would hate to do all this research, write all this stuff down, only to have to go back and do it again when I do the actual listings. Whether I'm doing the listing or Tina's doing the listing as she's taking the photographs, she'll have all this information before she even starts. She'll know the size, the style, what I'm selling it for, what I paid, and she'll have an image. And it just makes our life so much easier. And then there's no need for a spreadsheet. And then once it sells, they have this great feature called auto sales detection and delist. If it sells on Poshmark, it will automatically delist from eBay or now Mercari is in the fold with the auto sales detection and delist. You can get your sales analytics. You can cross post to multiple platforms. You have all that information saved right in Vendu. It is such a time saver. It helps me make money because I definitely cross list more than I would if I didn't have Vendu. Um, my eBay account is up to 975 listings. It's a great time to try. 40% off is such a great deal. Remember to click the link in my description and give Vendu a try today. You will be so happy that you did. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, all of these shoes will be live on Poshmark and eBay, probably with the exception of those Prada shoes. I'm not sure what I'm doing with those yet, but we're not done yet. So let's grab another pair of shoes. I'm gonna end up flying through the clothes because I have so much information on the shoes. I'm taking a long time. These are Madewell shoes. They are called the Madewell Basket Weave High Heel. Um, these are a size six. Comps on these were really interesting. I was not expecting much from this sandal. Comps range from $15, so very low, all the way up to $75. I saw a lot of sold comps on these for $49, $50. And these are in excellent condition. They've probably only been worn a handful of times. They have that cute little ankle strap. Hopefully they sell between 40 and 50. I would be really happy with that. 
These are some really cute kids Sorel boots. I've slowed down a bit on adult Sorel boots because they take up a lot of space and I feel like they've been sitting a little while longer. Sorel boots like the Joan of Arctic boots were definitely a huge bolo about three or four years ago. I would still pick them up for the right price and the right condition, but I just don't think they sell as fast or for as much as they used to. Generally speaking, I'm sure there are newer styles or if you have something in really fantastic condition, you can still get a lot of money for them. But basically, I've slowed down a little bit on Sorrel's, but how cute are these? So here's the little Sorrel guy here, and these are kids boots. They are a size three, and they have this gold little sparkle. There's a little red zip. These are the Sorrel Emily. Comps on these between 30 and $40. I saw a fair amount of new with tag boots like this that sold for 50, some for 60, but the pre-owned ones, 30 to $40 for kids boots. I was really excited. I didn't comp these. I think I got distracted. These are in absolute beautiful condition. Are the, and these are by Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand is something that I'm not super jazzed about picking up, but if you look at the bottom of these, it looks as if these have never been worn. I believe these are a seven and a half and they're in excellent condition. I'm going to guess they're between like 30 and $50 in this condition. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, but I did not comp those. Last up before the biggies are these fry boots. These are size eight and these are called the Judith boot in suede. Comps on these are between $35 and $75, hoping to shoot right in the middle there, hoping to get about $50 for these. These are a size 7 and they are in excellent condition. There were a couple of fry boots that I did put away. In fact, when we were showing Kim's war wounds, there was, there was literally a heel that was like melting. It was so gross and Kim happened to like get it all over her shirt, which she consoled me by saying that I had bought it for her at the bin. So the shirt that she was wearing, I think cost about $2, but I still felt bad because it made a mess. It was really sticky. You just never know what you're going to grab, but she did grab these and she had dove in and brought me over a bunch and then dropped them. And I probably put half of them back, but she got me these John Fluvogs. How incredible are these boots? They are in such great condition. They're no longer in production. I didn't see any available on my quick search on Poshmark. These are called the Soft Mellow Platform Boot. The sold comps that I found on the black boots, one was for 200 or 205 and $250. So I will be listing these for 299 or 325. I was more excited about these than I was about the Prada because these are just awesome. They have these great platform shoot, uh, base, John Fluvog is like an artist with his boots and shoes. He's known for his unique heels, in my opinion. You can see how this is in the back. It's not your average platform. Although I will say I have a pair of Fluvogs that have been in my inventory for a really long time and I've sent out 50% offers so they haven't moved. So like anything, not all are created equally. These happen to be a really good one. There were these boots that were in red or hot pink and those sold for 325. So those seem to have a higher sale price than the black ones but I was so excited about these. Plus they're a size nine and they are in excellent condition. So there's the tag here. Here's Fluvog's signature right here. Fantastic, definitely a bolo. If you can find John Fluvog shoes, pick them up. So now let's move on to clothing. Um, I am back doing live sales, as I've mentioned in a few videos for whatnot. Um, I'm trying to do two a month and incorporate a combination of new with tag items that I might purchase retail arbitrage, closet clear out stuff that's been in my inventory. I start my auctions typically around $3 to mostly cover my cost. My average selling price in my last show was only $10, but I moved stuff that had been in my inventory since 2018. Some of the stuff sold lower than I had hoped. And then I got a few things that sold higher than I thought they would. So it all kind of averages out. We moved a ton of things. There were 70 items in my last show that went out the door. A lot of those were old inventory. So I like to combine a bunch of things. So some of the stuff you'll see now, I will be listing and some I will have in my whatnot shows. This is something that I thought was very cute. 
that I wanna to bring to my live show. I feel like this brand should have better comps than it typically does, and I like their stuff, but I've stopped picking it up in large part for Poshmark because the comps just aren't there. This is a really cute gray cardigan sweater, and this is on the inside. Let's find someplace beautiful to get lost. I just thought this was so cute, and this is on the inside of the sweatshirt. Isn't that adorable? It's in really excellent condition. Who doesn't love just an easy, soft cardigan sweater to throw on? I've never seen a shirt or a sweatshirt that has like a fun expression graphic on the inside. I actually prefer this. I'm not into as many, you know, graphic tees with lots of words on the front, but I feel like this is kind of cool. And it's like, yeah, let's go get lost someplace. I just, I thought that was really great. This was interesting. So this is new. It's called Line and Dot, new with tag. Again, these are all from the bins. I have a mannequin downstairs so whenever I'm confused about something I put it on the mannequin and then play with it to see how it's supposed to look. Maybe this would be better on Poshmark if I can actually put it on a mannequin and we can get an idea but I loved that it was a neutral color. It was a really nice style. It kind of has these dolman sleeves new with tag and this was $1.75 so these items that I'm showing you $1.75. Oh Kim found this and I was really excited about this. This is also new with tag. This is the brand Avidu which is a plus size company to my knowledge. I think they have all plus size stuff. This is a size 22-24, $70 new with tag. It's this awesome black cardigan. It starts all black up here and then the sparkle goes down. I think this is so cute. The sparkles and the colors are so gorgeous on this and it's a nice black open cardigan cardigan. Not a brand that really sells great for me on Poshmark and that is also plus size and something that I like. I don't pick up things that I really don't like. I pick up stuff that I would want to wear myself. So I was really excited about that. Here is another item that is new with tag. This is a brand called Halera. This is an online company that competes with um, you know, the Lululemons and Fabletics of the world. They have a lot of styles that are sought after. These are new with tag and they are an extra large. So these are a wide legging with a high waistband. You can probably fold that waistband over and they are this charcoal gray in an extra large. Can you believe the new with tag items that we found? I was having so much fun. Okay, here is a belt that I will definitely list. This is from the Chatham Company in Cape Cod. This is a belt of the Cape. Is it the Cape or Nantucket or the Vineyard? I think it's Cape Cod, this is Cape Cod. Uh, I love to pick up these nautical belts. They do really well. There are a couple brands that I will pick up. This is not the super expensive one. I can't think of the name right now, of the brand that I always pick up with the belts that look like this. But this I think will do really well. I always check out the leather to see what condition it is. You can tell like this is probably where they buckled it. That That's what has like the mark. But this is in really great condition. I'll probably list this between $25 and $30. Old Navy and Universal Threads from Target are two brands that I always find styles that I like, and then the comps aren't great, so I leave them behind. So this is an Old Navy sweater that I absolutely love. It is a cardigan sweater. It's in this oatmeal color with like little flecks of brown. I love the color of the buttons. It is a size 2X, so for all those reasons, I picked this up for whatnot oversized, plus size, really excellent condition. I love the style of it. It's nice when I'm at the bins when I see stuff like this that I know I can take home. I can make a little money. Somebody can get a good deal on it and I can pick it up for a very reasonable price. Like this sweater at Savers would probably be $7.99. Even with 20% off, it would cost me over $6. I wouldn't want to pick that up for whatnot and then start my auction at three and have it sell for five or $6 would not be worth it for me. I hear a tag. We have another new with tag item. This is an extra small. The price is $80. The brand is Express. Express is another brand that I find sits on Poshmark. This is a fantastic style. This almost looks like something that Club Monaco would put out. Very minimal. It's got the mock turtleneck, which is in. It's a great color and it's new with tag. This will be on whatnot. These are Vineyard Vines, uh, boys size 14, new with tag. So the price tag is $55, the sale price 34. I think these are great for, um, you know, first communion season coming up or spring weddings or anything like that. 
These are fantastic. They're a good size. They're classic. I had to buy these for my boys over and over in a variety of sizes. So these will sell. I'll probably list them for like 30 bucks or the $34 since they were originally 55. New with tag, they'll probably sell for like 20 or $25 on Poshmark. That will go on Poshmark. This is a Zara jacket that I will probably also put on Poshmark because it's a little bit heavy. It's distressed in all the right places. You can see all the distressing here. It's really cute. It is a size extra small, just a denim coat. I liked the buttons and I liked the distressing and I liked the color of the denim. Pretty cool, right? Probably list this for like 32 or $35. Comment below and let me know if you do well with denim jackets because sometimes they sit for a while for me unless they're, they have some unique embroidery. I've had some embroidered denim jackets go really quickly. Um, but Zara is a fun, trendy brand. We'll see how that does. So this was probably $3 because it it's a jacket. We found this right as we were leaving. Kim found this hat and I love exploring hats. This is handcrafted by Hannah Hats. Um, Donegal, Ireland, dry clean only, made in Ireland, pure wool. So that has a lot of the features that I like. I typically try on my hats, but I don't know. I'm going to steam this first, though <laughs> it's really cute. I love this little flower here. And I have not looked up comps on this, but let's do this quickly. Um, I'm going to look on eBay for this because I feel like this might be something that's more prevalent on eBay. Hannah Hats wool. Let's just see what we have here. A lot of them are the newsboy hats that I'm seeing, but one similar to this, the tweed wool bucket hat, $24. Another one that has some patchwork that sold for $49, definitely more unique than mine. Um, another one for $39.52 with best offer accepted, $37. Uh, yeah, so I will probably list this for maybe $44 or $38, and I hope to get between $30 and $35 for it. Good pickup, Kim. This is a kid's dress that I will likely list on Poshmark, and I don't even know what this brand is. I thought this was cute. I think this is a brand. It's not T. It's got like a little birdie. Does anybody know this brand? It's really cute. I thought this was a super cute sundress, and my godchild's daughter is two and a half, so I figured if the comps are terrible, I will just give, the, give this to Nevaeh. That's kind of my way of thinking. Or Marguerite's daughter, Stella, I would also give that to her. So I'm just, you know, I have little girls that I can buy for now if the comps aren't good. Um, okay, this is a scarf that I thought was pretty. I like to sell things on whatnot also that fit everybody. So regardless of size, scarves will fit you. I thought the bird pattern on this was really pretty. I think people are starting to think of spring now, even though we are in the heart of winter. And this is by Pins and Needles, which I believe is an Urban Outfitters brand. So I like that it had um, a tag on it, one size. It's viscose, dry clean only. We'll definitely steam this before the show. I thought it was pretty. It was in nice condition, so we grabbed that. These were a pair of um, J. Crew pants that I, they're J. Crew outlet, but they're size 12. I thought these would be really pretty for Easter. I think I'm gonna list these on Poshmark because I think this is a more specific thing that somebody would be looking for pink pants. I thought these were really nice. They were a nice size. They were really nice style, a comfortable look. So those are gonna go on Poshmark. Probably list them for about $28, $30. They'll probably sell around 20 in a good size, in a nice style. With things that are more specific, like in color or style, sometimes it's difficult on whatnot because if you don't have someone looking for that specific thing in the room in your show, then it might go for less than you could get on a platform. I think that's something a little more specific that someone will be looking for. This, on the other hand, I am gonna put on whatnot in like this charcoal gray. Again, it is Old Navy. I love this dress. It is a tiered dress, like a little boho dress gathered sleeves here. It's not eyelet, but it has little embroidered something on there. I thought this was adorable. This might sell for eight or $10 on whatnot, but I only paid $1.75. It's something that I think will appeal to a lot of people, look nice on a lot of body types, so I grabbed it. I hope I'm not like over explaining things, but sometimes I just wanna let you know like why I'm choosing things for certain platforms over others. This I wanna list. This is a brand called Pact. This is an inexpensive brand. They actually sell this brand at Whole Foods, but I have sold a few pieces from them and I really like their minimalist style. So these are super cozy, 
overalls. They are a cropped style, very stretchy, and they're in a size extra large. These I'm definitely selling on Poshmark. I love these. These are a pair of uh, Free People hippie pants. Look at these. Look at the legs on these. When you first look, it looks like it is a skirt, but they are this super wide leg. It almost looks like a tiered maxi skirt in this rust color. So adorable. I was so excited to find these. There's a pair of uh, like shorts inside. So maybe the pant leg is a little bit sheer. So they have that like little extra coverage, but these are so cute. They're a drawstring. I I'm sure someone will love these. I'm guessing these will probably go between like $35 and $40 for these. So cute. What else have we got here? Um, this is a new with tag dress by the designer Clara Sun Wu. Uh, I looked at comps on this because this really isn't my style, but it's a size extra large. It was new with tag. And a lot of these comps on Poshmark were around that like $30 to $40. So I'm like, I'm only paying $1.75. It's new with tag. It's a larger size. So why not? I'm, I'm a little confused here. Oh, I think that's how it goes. So that's the front. It's actually really cute. Look at the little cross detail in the back. Oh, actually, Kim pointed this out to me. It's not a dress. It's just like the overalls that I just showed you. Even better, even more comfortable. Oh, now that all of a sudden has way more appeal to me. <laughs> now that I don't think it's a dress, I like it more. So this little jumpsuit style is really cute. Now I'm really happy I picked this up. I forgot about that. Another item, new with tag. I guess there was a theme for the day. This is another style base. This is Mosimo and an extra small. It was $29.99 for starters, but look at how adorable this is. This looks like it could have been made by like Everlane and a $70 dress. I just think it's so cute, so classic. Wear it with a pair of sandals. Oh, it's got this cute belt, this adjustable belt. I think it's such a versatile dress and it's new with tag. Okay, just a few more things. This is another new with tag dress. This is a Francesca's brand. Really cute dress. Gathers here, little spaghetti straps up top, a tiny little button in the back. Adorable, really cute. Um, I picked up this Madewell top. I think I will sell this in the Whatnot show. We also did a lot of thrifting at the other Goodwill stores and yellow was the half off color. So I picked up a lot of yellow items. This is one of my very favorite pieces of the day. I'm praying that I can get this stain out because this is such a cool piece from Free People. It was one of the first things I found. So it is this oversized cardigan. There is a stain on it, which I will show you. I'm praying the stain comes out. It's just got this little detail here and a drawstring and it's got this giant hood um, that snaps so you can wear it really oversized this little detail goes through on the back it's got these nice long sleeves which are so cool but here's the stain right here I liked it enough to take it home because other than this this is a gorgeous substantial piece and this is where buying in Boston was cooler because they only charged me a dollar 75 for this and this is heavy so this probably would have cost like three or four dollars at the New Hampshire bins. It all seemed to kind of work out similar, um, but that's it. That is my entire haul. I got some of the best shoes thanks to Kim. I potentially have a scarf that could be one of my best finds ever, but is likely not. But I will get back to you on that. Again, if you know any information about Hermes scarves, leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was so much fun to be back at the Goodwill outlet in Boston. This is the first of many trips I'm sure I'll take in 2024. After we left there, we still had a full day ahead of us and we hit some other great thrift stores in Boston. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my good friend Kim for being like the best bins co-pilot ever. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more from me. My next video will be coming out soon, probably a declutter video. Thanks again again to Vendu for sponsoring today's video. Remember to use the code MORE24AM to receive 40% off your first month of service with Vendu. I will leave a link in the description. Thank you guys so much. I love you and I'll see you back soon. Bye.